Shame on you people. But anyway, well, I'm glad you had fun down there, man. And you brought us back these little sombreros. These are so fucking badass. I couldn't I couldn't figure there was a bunch of I should have bought like two more because I, I wasn't nice. sure. I knew yeah, he was nice. gonna put that on his head. Dude, I'm wearing I can't move my head the rest if, of the show. If you're if you're listening, RJ is wearing the little sombrero on his big ass head. Dude, <laughs> my head is huge, dude. It's there. It's put, there. put the shit back. Oh, fine. You guys are no <laughs> it fun. It looked way cooler on the table. <laughs> dude, we got two little sombreros, dude. I'm so fucking pumped. I'm going to hit you so hard, you won't see nothing. Ever, 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 ever. Audio scrolls all day. The Merit Science is The Merit Science is Por- pars- portions, mm. no, not portions. Yeah, portions. There we go. Something with a P. Something with a P. So, with that being said, folks, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode one hundred and twenty-three. Yes, one, two, three, one, two, three of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the Pizza Guy, along with Jared, the Visual Mad Scientist. Jared, say hello to everybody. That's Jared saying hello. And today we are very, very lucky to have our good pal. Cheeto, visit us, join us, partake. <laughs> what, 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 wait a minute, what's that face over there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the way he, he pronounced it. Yeah, I, I did say your name kind of fucked up, I'm sorry. It's, a, it, it's, it's Cheeto. 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 Cheeto liked the chip. Hey. Cheeto liked the chip. All right, so thanks for coming on the show, hanging out with us today. Mm. Um, we're going to have a great time. We're going to drink some beer. You already like your beer. Your Wisconsin beer, don't show it in the camera, Not because be. labeling problems. I believe you. But what we did get from our good friend, Jared Smith, are these coasters that he brought us back from Texas. Look at this. Pretty badass. Even though none of us drinks Coors. But we, yeah, we don't drink Coors. It just has the shape of Texas on it. Yeah, because we're real Americans, folks. Why is my shit not loud? So, why is this shit not loud? Let's figure that out. But anyway, Jared, thank you for the coasters. Welcome home. You've been traveling a lot lately. So tell us, before want, anything else. What do you want me to tell you? How, how, it, how was Texas? I don't know. Um, I, I mean, don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with Texas. The Lone Star State, baby. Lone Star State. I'm assuming you saw a lot of guns. <laughs> no, I didn't see oh, any okay. guns. Uh, but I'm sure they were around. Um, no, that's, that's what I was telling you all. Where we were at was like, it's like a big uh, resort, which is cool. Like, man, the food, there was like three restaurants there. And you go to, you can go to some restaurants, resorts or whatever, they have okay food. Everything in this shit was fucking good. Like, I had, we went to this, uh, it was a steakhouse called 18 Oaks in, in there. And, like, man, I haven't had a steak like that in a minute. Like, it was. Where you, like, was you it taste the butter that they poured <laughs> on there at the end? And, uh, yeah, everything was good. It was uh, orgasmic. I don't know about all that. Well, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> I mean, as, as long as you ate it. <laughs> as long as you enjoyed it. That's I did. It. You know, it sounds like you did. But, or, you know, so I just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's not a bad word to use. No, I was inside most of the time. Um, but I, every time I ch- had a chance to go outside, I would have went outside. Actually, this place has a water park, but it was too fucking cold for a water park. Oh. It, was, it was like 60-something, 70, close to 70, depending on the day, but. I wouldn't have had time to get in there. Did, did it look like a dope ass water park? Yeah, they had slides and shit. And dude, they have a lazy river going. Uh, yeah, dude, you know water parks are badass, man. I don't really think they get enough credit. I really don't. Well, no. Uh, I your, mean, as you get older, though, you're not really into water parks. And shit. Like, well, yeah. I, I mean, you're just, I like, you're just into what's at the water park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh I, yeah. So I, how I, was I, that I, down there? Um. Again, I was in a resort, so it was all it was going to be all tourists for the most part. I didn't really see a whole lot of extracurricular besides what was in the hotel, but mm. what was in there was decent. Mm. Okay, decent's good. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's decent. But it's de- <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Nothing. I, I, I'm just saying it's decent. Hey, yeah, man. it's good. It's it, it's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. All right. Well, you know that's. Uh, that's R- the motto here. R- R- RJ wants me to always give out like full details of his of stuff on, on the air. I'm not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I talk about my life. I, yeah, that's you. Well, I talk uh, about my life too, but I don't. I don't go into full detail of the hour, the date, and fucking names of people who were there. No, I, I wasn't asking all that. I just want to know if they were hot. I mean, I, again, I was in a resort, man. Like. 
there's no. I mean, I don't know if if you've never been to a resort, it's hard to explain. But like, you're gonna only get people from other places, so you're not gonna right. get a real no, no. I understand feel for what's in the state. I mean, and okay. I, man, it's the United States of America. Like they they're hot chicks everywhere. This is true. This well, is, I don't want to say it. that's that's the wrong thing to say. Let's put it this way. We confirmed my belief that I'm tired of this area. Mm. Yeah, while you were away, Jared, you know what I did? Nothing. The same fucking thing that you do every fucking week. But, you know. Hey, I won a couple games in Halo. Every now and again, you'll find a hidden jewel. Every now and then. Every now and again. But they're usually not from here, and they just got here. (laughs) I I get that. They haven't been... Tainted by the D.C. area, the fucking rubbishness. <laughs> Their soul hasn't been corrupted yet. Yeah, exactly. Well, damn. What the hell is going on? What do you mean? Uh, what, well, well, man, I'm trying to tell you. Well, we, we do it. I tell you what. <laughs> we do it exorcisms out here? No. Just to, oh, some, of just, these, some of these motherfuckers need it. It's, it's a shame. Shame on you people. But anyway... Well, I'm glad you had fun down there, man. And you brought us back these little sombreros. These are so fucking badass. I couldn't. I couldn't figure. There was a bunch. Of, I should have bought like two more because I, I wasn't nice. sure. I knew yeah, he was nice. going to put that on his head. Dude, I'm wearing. I can't move my head the rest if, of the show. If you're if you're listening, RJ is wearing the little sombrero on his big ass head. Dude, <laughs> my head is huge, dude. It's there. It's put, there. Put the shit back. Oh, fine. You guys are no <laughs> it fun. It looked way cooler on the table. <laughs> dude, we got two little sombreros, dude. I'm so fucking pumped about that. I should have got... Oh, damn, I should have got more now that I saw Because I, I actually, I, when I saw them, I was like, oh, I really want one of those. Because then I started thinking well, we could put them on the on the, on the wall walls. and stuff. Yeah. Well, we can hang them up. You think they'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah we can well, hang those up. I, I think with these little clips, these might... All right, well, oh, well, maybe not. Well, next week, we'll have the little sombreros oh, no, on will the wall. Work. This will definitely work. Because it's 3M tape oh, sticking yeah. on there. So, hold on. Okay, so this is a different one. It's the same It's the same company, but I have a variety pack. So tell me what you think of that one, my friend. I will. I All will. right. So speaking to you and of you, yes. Cheeto, what's going on, man? Tell, tell us about uh, yourself. And you can use that, the handmade beer opener from oh. Africa. Oh, wait. You forgot one thing before, before we move. Yeah, continue to admire that. So does that look like it was handmade in Africa? I I love the silence. I couldn't I couldn't tell. But he can't tell. But it it does feel handmade. It feels handmade. Okay, Jared, uh, we're getting somewhere. It's, it's from uh, I could feel the. I mean, it's you know solid. All right, uh, out of wood. As long I don't, as you know, don't use the word girthy. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really that's, girthy? That's, that's, no, no, that's no, what no. we got to do for a bottle opener. That's what we got to do. It's got to be it's gotta Look be at the girth on that thing. You got to have a good counterweight. I'm, I, I'm not saying this. Bad. What are we doing about this bottle? What? No, because Jared, the reason I asked you that is because I've had it for a while. It was given to me by a dear friend who visited Kenya. Okay, and he okay. brought this back to me, and he told me it was handmade in Africa. Jared doesn't believe that. He feels like he bought it in a truck stop somewhere. No, oh, it's truck stop. Bottle bottle openers or anything from a truck stop usually have like uh, some kind of uh, emblem tag or something at the bottom, <laughs> something something that that says, "Hey, you were at this truck stop," or or this made from this. in China, which right. the sticker is usually those gold stickers that they can just peel right off. I mean, you could do that too, but mm-hmm. uh, but why would he? Why, but why would he go through the effort of telling me that it was handmade? <laughs> And lie to me about it. Because he wanted to see if he could get away with it. Dude, I don't know. I'm going to fucking call him. Can we you've co- been saying that for months. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... Just I, like you've been saying you're going to clean up down here for months. It is still dirty down here. And, and, I'm, ta- and I'm talking to you, John. And by everybody who who thinks I get on RJ for cleaning up down here, like, I fucking cleaned up most of the stuff, and I clean up my shit every week. It's just his little section over here that remains to be... It's tainted. No, it's not well, tainted. Well, it's well sir, dirty. this is my uh, first time down or around you guys. I'm not. I'm not judging. I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> it's not something I do on my first visit. It's just no, not doing it. Just not doing it. All right, that's fine. You're more than welcome to. He actually, yeah, he was so polite. He was talking to my mom because I was still upstairs in the shower. Mm-hmm. RJ Cheetos here. Oh, sorry, mom. Let me put on pants because oh, wow. I wasn't wearing any because I was in the shower. I don't think that's the way you wanna. 
And I was like, I, I was like, hey man, just whenever you feel in pansy, just, yeah. <laughs> you 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 do your thing. I'll, I'll I'll stay down here and talk 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 to your mom and stuff. And yeah. you know, we have something in common. I was like, all right, so we, you know, I was like, all right, cool. So I got to talk to her, and I'm like. That is your kid, huh? Yeah. <laughs> right? hmm. Wait, wait. You, you were on. Hmm. Were you on time? He was. Yeah. I know. I told you. I I knew. I was like, he's military. He's gonna be there at six thirty, and I was still kind of getting dressed and shit. So I was. Shoot, I was looking at when I got to six fifteen. I was like, dude, I gotta go. And I was. I was. I had a drink in front of me, and I was like. Go. Were you at the Tortuga Verde? I was at that place that yeah. you mentioned. Maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't call it by its real name. Okay. The cesspool that it is. I Jeez. mean, nah. yeah, I was there. Um, for some reason, there were other people there that I knew and I've worked with. And the conversations, I don't know. I sat down. I was like, all right, I got to go. And uh, they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm going to join my buddies on this podcast and first time. And like, oh, you, I'm like, I don't know. We're going to talk about some everything. And I think we're going to talk about something oh, yeah. that we all have in common that oh, we, yeah. we all we watched. Will. Um, did yeah. you do yes, your job? Yes, yes, okay. I did my job. Oh, right. you better can, sir. <laughs> yeah, you, you better, better can. can. Dude, dude. Oh. I, dude he sir. texted me yesterday. Oh. He was like, did you oh. watch it yet, RJ? Oh, 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 sir. Hey, and look, that dude, was me. I had a customer in front of me, and I picked up my phone. Yes, Jared, I did. What, look, I was fucking. And then I lied and said it was when my When I mother. said that text, I think I was at the airport getting drunk. Mm. Yeah, you're like, is it too early for a beer? Oh, yeah, I sent him a, a picture of a beer, me drinking a beer at the bar. Like, hey. it, was like, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning. Or something. <laughs> Somebody walked by me. He's like, that's why you're always at the bar, RJ, you alcoholic. So, like, no. Hey. no I was like, no, when I fly, it's like, fuck it. Like, why not? Especially, yeah. like, especially even if it's work. Like, it's a travel day for the most part. So, why not? It's a travel day. How long is the flight? Well, I had a stopover, which okay. fucking I hate that shit. But like, um, like a couple probably, hours, it's like three out, three and a half hours. Or something. Okay. That's not too bad. That's yeah. not bad. Awesome. Yeah, it's not bad. That's why. That's a good consideration to move, because then I would be in the middle of everything. So it would be like three hours to L.A. or three mm. hours to California, a couple hours to Nevada to Las Vegas. Mm. Viva! Not far from Miami. Ooh. Not far from here. Miami. Like so, and I don't go above. Was that Interstate 15? <laughs> was it? T- yeah, 15 is the, is the middle range right. toward the bottom one. I don't go above that. I don't have to. You got to go up. You go where you want to go. That's yeah, true. Uh, yeah. So, true. Cheetah, tell us about yourself. Where are you from, my Wait, friend? Hold on. But before we get there, I'm sorry. Yeah. You right, forgot right. to do something. Well, I was going to get that, there. What's that? Oh. Well, well, hold on. Well, what since Jared's brought it up, we're going to go ahead and do it. Would you like to try a chocolate asshole? Huh. Well, sir, I don't know. I don't know if uh, it's my first time. And yeah, I but mean, it's everybody's first time. It's everybody's first time. We just got those. We just got these mm. sent to us from our good friend who we will not mention on the show, John. Okay. 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 So here, I'm going to open up the edible anus. Edible N- anus. Yes. So right. we are doing this to all our guests. It is ah. an, It is the initiation phase. It's a rite of passage. It's now. the rite of passage. Ah. And you are lucky. Only for like three more guests. Yep. There's only three pieces left. So, sir, will you put your finger in the anus? I've, I've done that before. Right? Yeah, there, there, there you go. <laughs> I've done that before. All right. Okay. Oh, so. And, Jared, can you please? Oh, the camera's on us. Yep. Wow. And, Cheeto, uh, please what? tell us how you like that chocolate asshole. <laughs> Y'all a bunch of assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's the only thing that's uncertain on this show. Oh my double goodness! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean, the the, the rimming on it seems, <laughs> seems like it's it's official. Yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know if it's molded from a real asshole. I've already eaten two. <laughs> well, I see. I see what you you're into, sir. Yeah, that's. Well, um, I'm not asking questions. Correct. I'm just not asking questions. But I'm gonna try this all chocolate. Right. Go ahead. Anus. Chocolate anus. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't say. I won't say. I can't say, but I won't say. But I'm going to eat. All right, go ahead. <laughs> He's chewing the ass, folks. Tastes like chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. I'm there glad you go. it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad you just nibbled it. Yeah. I'm glad it tastes. Jared, can we get a round of applause <laughs> for Cheetos, I'm please? I'm glad no. it. I'm... <laughs> he gets this. There you go. 
Right? All that's, right. What, that's what we do. All that's right. what we do. And for the next two guests, there's only no. two assholes left. All right? So, Aside from if, these if, two assholes right yeah. here. Like, I appreciate you. you know, all right. Just all on, on my tongue. I'm just like, mm, that's all what I need. All on my tongue. That's, that's what I needed. That's what I needed today. It, <laughs> it, it is pretty good chocolate, though, isn't it? I don't know how to answer that right yeah, now. That's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> don't you don't answer. have to answer that currently. So thank you for partaking in RJ's Edible Anus Challenge. All right. <laughs> oh my Is that God. what we're calling it now? So I think we should. John, that means you got to send us more. John, edible anuses. we like depend on you way too much, man. Yeah. I yeah. mean, could it, could it be worse than COVID? <laughs> I mean, because no. like, I definitely didn't lose my taste. So <laughs> I think I'm all right. I, I, I didn't lose mine, but I, my boss has been going through it for like two and a half weeks now. Damn, uh, yeah. and he just lost his taste. Just yeah. lost it. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he just lost, but is hey, he doing okay? That, that would be yeah, he's fine. That okay. would be more than enough reason to say, "Hey, girl, yeah, guess what I can do for you?" Oh, wow! <laughs> like, hey, I can't taste a damn thing. So, dude, you know what's crazy? He's, he's not wrong. I know he's not. Damn, dude, that's like like some genius top tier level shit. But that bro. doesn't stop what's going into <laughs> your system. <laughs> So, yes, bacteria. Bacteria. Yeah. So you got you got you got your edible and you got your bottle of Listerine and you kinda do it at the same time. Ah, touche. Hey, you know, like hey With Listerine won't that like burn? burn? Yeah, wouldn't that burn? <laughs> Listerine does have a burning effect. Well Well, <laughs> well the way my bottle I mean, works. Well uh, <laughs> Well, you're not feeling <laughs> The effects. No, well, no, no, you aren't. But the person well, who you're doing it to is. Yeah. You know, these, the, the, these are the terms. Ah, uh, touche. These, these right. are the terms. Either you like, want so, it done or you want it done. Uh, yeah. So in order to eat ass, you need to pour listerine into it. <laughs> All right, so Cheeto, uh, now yeah. that we're done talking about, uh, you know, just tossing salad. <laughs> well, well, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. <laughs> So tell us about yourself, man. Uh, just where, like, just anything. Where are you from? You said you had something in common with my mother. Which, what does that mean? Uh, it's like, no. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not. Mm-mm. See, see, this is this is why. This is why. No, I'm just joking, so, man. Um, this is the way. I originally, oh, see, see, I'm originally from uh, Detroit, Michigan. Nice. Um, been working for uh, the government for a while, so uh, that's that's why I like. I have some things in common with a lot of folks um, down to earth, but you know, I, I see things in a different light. You know, I always say I see uh, things in the light. It does. It, it just don't seem right, but yeah. that's just me. No, it's awesome. There, oh, bro. Geez, that's ah, why he's right. See, you just, just stab me in the in rib cage. Right. So I've been, uh, what I've been, you, I've been, you, you I, gotta, you gotta catch conversational clues. Ooh. Okay. The clues. Yeah. The, there was a reason why he said a certain word instead of that word. Oh. See? Oh. So, well, never mind. <laughs> I mean, you know. I, I'm, I'll try I'm, to edit that out. It's good. But uh, I've been, you know, been doing this for a long time. I've been out around the world a couple times. So, there's nothing that really surprises me about life, people, or just the way they do things. I just try to see if I can appreciate it or come to come to a understanding. Like I get why you do that. And, uh, that that's me because I, I'm not going to tell you that it's wrong unless it's going to hurt you or make, make you like to the point where I'm like, I'm not going to see him again. I'm not going to see him or her again. I'm like, no, I don't do that shit mm-hmm. because we, you know, time to time we, we get to a place, I'm like, man, love coming out with you guys, hanging out. Then you're like, shit, what happened to that guy? I'm like, man, this happened. I'm like, yeah. I could have said something. I yeah. could have said something, but I didn't. So that's why, I like, you know, I come out and appreciate everybody. I don't judge nobody on the the intricacies of yeah. their life or how they do things relationship-wise. Because you got to figure that, that – you got to figure that out on your own. Because yeah. even if I give you pointers – your brain tells you you're right all the time, that you know a way. And you know what? This is the way. That is, well, yeah. An excellent oh, segue. This is, hold on, this, that, well, segue. Man, you, I don't know what's happening today. Um, what is happening? Man, okay, I, I lost my train of thought now. Mm. So go ahead, transition to what you were oh. going to transition to. I did it again. 
<laughs> what? I, I've caused Jared to forget. <laughs> Conversational <laughs> clues, <laughs> brother. So like, <laughs> we weren't we were not off of that subject yet. Okay, I, I, I uh, just want to wear the little sombrero. So see, I see what you're doing. Uh, see, speaking of this is the way that might be racist. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, him, him wearing a little sombrero. Dude, is is it racist? racist? I don't know. Hey, so, leave so it sorry. in the comments if you think me wearing a little sombrero is racist. I mean, no. most people would see it as comedy, but you, you know you, you the, the world do, we live in today. You have to do everything with respect. Yeah, honestly, because if not, you know, jokes. Depending on the person, yeah, they rub, they they do not rub. Who they, are you they don't. They do not slide off the skin the same way. I don't as think. A, I don't think we have a strong Hispanic viewing viewership, though. Do we? Uh, some of the guys at work that listen to are there any are, of them Mexican. I don't believe so. Why don't? Why, why is it that when when we say Spanish, it's just straight to one country? I think, uh, to be honest, that. Well, no, 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 no. Well, sombreros are from Mexico. That's real. That's why I was talking about. Oh, and now, now I get that. Okay, um, but that I makes think sense. people say Spanish, and I've oh, I've really only noticed it in this area. They 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 put everything under their umbrella of Spanish. It's like, oh, she's Spanish, but she might be fucking Ecuadorian or something. Right. Um, but you go to other places. I think they have that understanding of there are differences. I don't know for some reason around here that they just it's the umbrella cultural context it, I guess. I I think everybody puts everything into a grouping or a category and they they box it in because it's easier to box it in versus breaking it up into its own category. Yeah, labeling shit the way they want they see fit like oh they speak Spanish so they're just Spanish. Like nah, and, son, and that's, that's the thing it it's like hey there's categories for everybody. We're not all grouped. Yeah. In the same category. But maybe that's what it is. This area likes to label shit just because it's so much politics in, in it. I think they have to label it a certain thing just to make it, like you said, make them feel uh, it's more to make them feel better about themselves. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. I mean, that's a fair I, I mean, that's, assessment. That's yeah. a fair assessment. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, when people label, it's like, oh, yeah, easy. Easy category. I got it. I understand them. And That's like, what it is. If they, they if they label something, they can un, they they think they understand it better. Better. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we're doing a lot yeah. of, but that's not nah because everybody's different. I hate that. I hate being put, have a label put on me. Um. Yeah. It, along with, I'm not very good with authority. <laughs> Well, sir. <laughs> no. Well, well, sir. No. Did did I not see that one coming? Yeah. <laughs> we were just waiting for him to say I like it. to do my own thing. Leave me alone. Yeah. Very aware. Very aware. <laughs> Very aware. Don't, don't tell me what to fucking do. I don't. I'm I not don't, talking I, about you. I'm nah, just saying I'm, in general. So you know, and uh, on that note, I don't. Uh, I don't tell people anything about me but my name, mm. and then it's you know human interaction conversation and you know intellect or just me trying to be entertaining or just hey i'm here what's going on yeah. and they're like then like maybe day two week later month later i didn't know about you like that i'm like <laughs> well like this, like this i guy. didn't i didn't tell you about me but if you want to know here you go mm. and uh that way it's like the only thing you should know is like Hey, this guy, name, great guy. In the story, I'm like, man, I see you on the ground, in a ditch, booty up bleeding or something. I'm going, whoa, that guy <laughs> needs help. Let me make sure he gets an ambulance. Is you, it, with his booty up and bleeding. I'm not asking questions. I'm, no. really not, I'm not asking questions. So what happened to you at night? Well, I'm just, not, <laughs> just, not, just not asking. Well, me. that's a very good thing because if I saw someone with their booty up and bleeding, I don't know what I would do. That's why RJ wears his sunglasses so he doesn't have to see stuff like that. Uh, that's uh, I actually shield my eyes with a bandana. I'm thinking about buying a do rag. For what? I don't know. I just want to wear one. You want to wave wave up your yeah, no, wave your hair up? It's possible. Now, would that be racist if I wore the do rag instead of the little sombrero? No, I mean I, you can Google that shit. Eminem wore do rags. No, that's, that's true. I'm buying a do rag. And I mean it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna mat your hair down in your scalp. Mm-hmm. I mean you can you can comb it your hair <laughs> in different directions. You can get waves in them dammits. <laughs> you can. You gotta buy buy you yeah. some. Um, 
What's that shit called? Uh, is that, uh, what are we looking at? The the wave joint. We were like S curl kind of stuff. I think it's called. Yeah, I think it is S curl. Yeah. yeah, you got to get you some S curl. Yeah, man. Get you some uh, some pink oil. Mm. All right, <laughs> I'm buying a fucking do rag, dude. Oh, let's no. do this. Yeah, let's go. That's that's some thick. Let's go. That's a All thick, right. That's a thick product. Yeah, you, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. you put it on. It's it's thick. It's yeah. like, your hair ain't moving. <laughs> it's not moving at all. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's like glue. It could be a hurricane. Hairdo <laughs> still in the same spot, baby. Still in the same spot. Dude, what the fuck? Okay. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It just, that thought just occurred to me. So, I think, yeah, no, I'm not thinking. I'm going to do it. The do dangerous do rag. Keep going. All right. Not so, I know that we all have something in common. Mm. Uh, Jared actually brought it up to me a couple weeks ago. He said, we have a mutual friend. That might come on the show and talk about Bubba Fett. And I was like, okay, all right. And then he was like being super mysterious about who you were. Mm. And then he was like, it's Cheeto. Like, and I was like, well, I mean, you could have just said that. I mean, he was, I, I, I was like in the realm of like, who is this person? He had me guessing for like a couple minutes and then he just told me. Because I, I, <laughs> no, I think it was because you hadn't even started the show yet. Oh. And I didn't want you to go over to him and start talking to him about it. I wasn't going to. I don't want to ruin it for myself. Okay. Anyway. So, this week, mm -hmm. the season finale mm -hmm. of The Book of Bubba Fett. Are we starting at the end? No, yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying that, let me talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! Do your talking. Oh, uh, well, I'm talking. So, anyway, <laughs> the last episode of The Book of Bubba Fett came out. Right. Obviously, there are seven episodes. Mm -hmm. And now that we have all seen it collectively, obviously, I'm the last one to finish, as generally that happens. Mm. What... I know, I know what Jared thinks about it. So, what did you think of the series as a whole, man? I, okay, so the series before they hit, I want to say before they hit five and six, the series was it had its path that I knew. I'm like, all right, let's see, let's let's see where they take this. Let's see what Boba Fett's gonna do, and I knew he was gonna to uh, the the. The area he was in, he wanted to take it over. He wanted to you know, rule with respect instead of fear. And I'm like, all right, man, let's see what you got. Then some episodes in, I think we're at five. Then the whole thing changed. I'm like, well, what are we doing with this Boba Fett? I didn't see him in this episode. I didn't see him in this episode. Where did he go? And I'm like, y you, you put my boy back in, then jarring. I said, jarring, you're back, baby. I yeah. see you. I see you. I'm like, hey, it it rekindled that Mandalorian flame. I'm like, yeah, we're back, baby. You know, best guy and all. I said, that's what I'm talking about. Then I'm like, at the end of the episode, I'm like, I didn't, I didn't see a Boba Fett. What, what, what are we? <laughs> uh, he, had, he had a cameo. I'm like, I'm like is, is, is this his episode? <laughs> this is his series. This is not his episode, though. This is not it. And, I'm, and that, that kind of threw me. It it was a good episode, but it threw me like, okay, is this are we going to continue the Boba Fett? Is it going to be more episodes than the episode after that? I'm like, not really seeing that guy again. I'm like, cameo number two. I'm like, dude, I said, man, they're just taking over your series. Not a bad thing. Still good. Still good material. But I would like to see Boba Fett do. Do uh do more with there was uh a lot of the stuff with the pikes and that he could have been like in the background, you know, doing maybe some undercover work or even, you know, doing like maybe going off planet trying to figure out why why the route is going in such a way. I mean, there there were things that could have been could have been surfaced and uh just a little bit more, just a little bit more could have could have dropped Boba Fett as a you know that no kidding. I didn't need anybody else starring in my episode taking my shine. I felt like his sign was taken just a little bit. I I kind of feel a little bit the same, but I just thought about something. Um, granted, it was all, all the way in season two. Boba Fett kind of took over a couple episodes of The Mandalorian, also. 
I seen that too. I see what you're going with this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I see it's actually going very good. It's I a, see we're going with this. It's yeah. a good crossover between the two shows. Mm. Um and we already have a background. Like the first season of Mandalorian was setting up who he was mm. and where he came from. Yeah. We already knew where Boba Fett came from. So this yes. is just like, all right, what's ha- what's going on with Boba Fett now? Gotcha. Gotcha. And gotcha. I think they'll be, I, and I think there's gonna be more crossovers because this opens up the world for a crossover galore now. Yes, it does. Um, well, not maybe not in the Kenobi joint because that's supposed to be before all this. But yeah, that's coming out soon too. May right? Yeah, May, it's yeah. coming out. Yeah, it's coming out real soon, dude. That's I hope it's amazing. And then Andor is also, I think, pre all this also. Well, I, I think even with uh, the Kenobi one, we're going to see another. Uh, uh, was it uh, Darth uh, Darth Sif? Yeah, yeah, we're going to see him again. You talking about Vader? 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 No, no. Um, uh, Emperor, Maul, uh, Darth Maul, Darth Maul. Maul. Sorry about that. Ooh. Yeah. So, Dar- uh, is Darth- this the Darth Maul with legs or with the robotic legs? I think with the robotic legs, because mm. he got cut in half. Super mm-hmm. good. I mean, oh yeah, because this has to be after that. But yeah, uh, in the Clone Wars uh, cart uh, animation series, uh, he came back. He had, he had, I think he had like four legs. He was yes. walking around. And I don't know if they're gonna try to incorporate that as far as all right. This is canon. This is what happened to Darth. And um, boom. And, you know, include the mechanic legs. Because once Kenobi hit him with it, it was like, you know, your deli meat. Zhoom. Hey, that's a couple slices. Yeah. Right on the sandwich. But never mind my food. My food <laughs> reference. Food references. My food reference. The deli but, meat. <laughs> he's a deli meat. <laughs> and zhoom, zhoom. Oh, shit like that. But. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Oh, hey, do that. I I still want to see the Ahsoka series or her. Oh yeah, that's coming too. That's coming too. When is that supposed to be though? Oh, I gotta look again. Yeah. Can no, we pull that no, no, Not not so much when, uh, more like when is it supposed to take place? So I don't the, think we know that yet. And they they were I I was listening on to a few uh, uh streams about. Who saved Grogu from that from that temple or from that uh that area he was in? Oh yeah, um, shit. I I I, I think I've heard some stuff, but I not a hundred percent. I think they said Kenobi. No, he couldn't have been there. He was on. He was on. Uh, what's the name of that freaking planet? I want to say Coruscant, but I don't think that's it. I, I also have to look that up. Yeah, no, but um. So how did you feel, I guess, the way this the series wrapped up with the you know, the finale and everything? I like the the wrap up was good. The the action was good. The the pike, the main pike at the at the end, he didn't see it coming. He didn't see it coming at all. And I was like, Ooh, you know, we got Fedex Shen, you know, just taking people out, no problem. And, uh, um, that's what she does. That's what she does. Yeah. That's it was super, does. that, that scene that was, was super badass. Oh. Dude. I won't lie. Hey, hey, she's one of my, she's one of my favorite, you know, characters. Um, you know, what the, uh, was what, the, the same person voice that in the animated series too. Was she in the animated series? She was new. I can't remember. I, I felt like, cause I felt like I, I've heard her voice before. She was in a few other series. Now we're talking like Marvel, though. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about you. Talking her about specifically. I'm talking about Fennec Chang, Chang the character. Mm, I would, I would have to, I would have to research that one as yeah, well. I would have to look it up. I, I don't see when it uh, start when Osaka is going to start. Ah, I'm sorry, <clears throat> they probably haven't even started recording it. Well, as long as it's badass, that's all I care about. So. I think it will be though. I, I thought, actually think it will be. I thought the series as a whole mm. was pretty damn good, man. I know that uh, there's so obviously now that I've finished watching it, it's like all right, let me scavenge the internet and see where people's heads are at with the mm. whole thing. I always do that just to just kind of gauge like I guess community fan response, so to speak. Yes, and to kind kind of compare it to my own personal opinion, and they, from some people. They were like really disappointed, I guess, with the the lack of Bubba Fett, you know, in the tour, obviously towards the end of the series um, or the season or whatever, however you want to say that. And I remember when it was 
first announced, I think even the writers were saying it's like Mandalorian 2.5. Like, right. Um, right. I still think it was a solid series. I enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, the last, what, five, six, and seven, uh, they're all super badass episodes. I thought the they're, last episode still good. was awesome. That's so good. Um, and whatnot. And just, it just felt good. It felt like Star Wars, man. And uh, that's... And, Oh, and man, I think that is the no kidding feeling that they were trying to drive is the Star Wars feel of the whole thing. It's like no matter what series is there, we're trying to bring Star Wars back up yeah. in, into the lives of all because it's like you got fans, you got the newcomers looking at it like, what is this? And I'm like, what? You know what that is? And, and, and even some of the references from – uh, Yoda, his his uh, saber, his lightsaber. Uh, we're looking at Luke Skywalker, his training, the 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 way he tried to train Gro- Grogu, and all this other stuff. I'm looking at it like, ooh, I remember that. But that was when he Yoda trained him, and even the speeches and um, some of the, some of the things that you see in the background. Like, I've seen that before, and but you know, someone with new a new a new view of it is like. I like it just because, you know, it's it's set in as a futuristic kind of cowboy setting and you're like, hey, this is Star Wars. Yeah. There's there's so much there. Now the thing is is like how how do you well, you, you're going to fall in love in, with certain aspects or you, you might enjoy it just all together. But you need good characters to bring that home to the, to the newcomers that that see it or like me, I'm like I was. I was always there as a Star Wars fan, but when Mandalorian came out, I be, it was solid. I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna keep watching. I gotta keep watching. Just see what's going on. Gotta see what Din Djarin's gonna do." Hey, because the the way I looked at it was like, I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold, and that's my line. That's 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 one we give them. <laughs> I was like, "Hey." That's that is, that that is what we open were opened up to from the beginning. It was like, oh, oh, this is some some Star Wars, but yet new Star Wars shit. Yes, yeah. Right. And the uh, guys uh, who direct it or just write it and everything, those guys are the writers. Not- and the writers, I'm all in for it. Like, and the last episode of the book of Boba Fett was good, um, but there's a lot of people talking shit saying that. Um, and I think it's because of previous episodes that he's done. Uh, Robert, Robert Robert Rodriguez, mm. they're like, "Oh, he needs to be fired." Blah blah blah. He did great on the fu- on the on the last episode, but he also did the first episode. I wasn't too happy with that one. Yeah. Um, but I've I've told you, and I think I told you before. Um, my favorite director so far. Uh, I mean, there's, oh, besides uh, what's his name, David. Favela, what I can't remember his name, but anyway, there's Robert Rodriguez, him. I think uh, John Fairbaugh has done one, mm. or done some, uh, and then Bryce, da- uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. I she's probably my one of my favorite because she did the Osaka um, episode in Mandalorian. Right. She actually, I think she did two episodes, but all the ones she's done right. to me have been the best ones. You mean the one where uh, Dunjarin got the Beskar spear? Yes. Is that the one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I'm pretty yeah. sure that was her. That was a good episode. Yeah. That was a great episode. Um, but yeah, she again, she's fire. Like all the ones she's done was fire. Cause she did um what was that? Episode five, I think. Yeah, she did episode five. I can't I, and I missed who did six. Oh no, it was um it was a Dave guy. He's been around he was one of the early creators on the Clone Wars mm. animated series. Okay. And then before that Disney bought Lucasfilm. Um, he was like uh, the one of the lead people under George Lucas, so he's been in the game for a long time, and he understands the Star Wars world. and And that's the good thing that like that they've done is bring on people who are very knowledgeable in, in Star Wars. You 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 have to have some kind of. Uh uh, like su- a subject matter expert yeah. into the source material, <clears throat> because if not, then you're like, okay, you're stretching it really thin, and you're like, yeah, it's not working for me. You know, for the fans, it's like, eh, that's not gonna work uh, yeah. because yeah. there there are certain things like 
you know, movies when they when they take a something that's already there and try to transition it into something new, you go, mm, that's too that's too far. Yeah. You, you went too far and it doesn't work. And but for what I've seen, it's it's been working. And it, it it works well. Well, so far, so it, far, it's been working the way this, the way they've been doing the series, it series, 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 mm-hmm. series. Um, it's been working in that matter, but I think now. See, I don't even know this for sure, <clears throat> but I don't imagine J.J. Abrams being a strong Star Wars fan. I know he was a Star Trek fan. Which why those movies turned out well. Mm. Those are actually I like those movies a lot. But he did did he did what the Star Trek or the yeah Star Trek yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about he didn't he he directed either the first or the second. Um, he directed the first one. I know that the first one of the new the, one the, the new with ones. Ray. Okay, yeah. so it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it felt a little un Star Warsy at times to me. Do but, you li- did you like the new trilogy to you um, of Star Wars? With with Ray and all I, that. Yeah. I I I watched them all. I was uh, I had to look at them for a second time and and see where they were taking the story, what what outcomes were happening, and who had power, who needed to be trained. I'm like something feels off, but I was like I'm still gonna finish it just to see where we're at. Um. It, it hit hard when uh uh was it um what, what's the guy's name uh Han Solo Han Solo oh my god when when he got taken out I'm like damn dude yeah I was that super pissed me I off was too like, dude you gotta be kidding me yeah I thought it was like a joke like at first, well not a joke but I was like this can't be real right it it couldn't be you know I'm like so Han Solo knew what was gonna happen to him. You know, he always in carbonite and all that greatness. Then, you know, to survive all this for this many years and be taken out by your own blood. I'm like, oh, this is is (laughs) some. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I was like, I get you got the force and all. And I was like, hey, man, I'm like, I've been battling people with the force. And, hey, you can get hit, too. You can get, you can get, you can get hit in the chin, too, without a problem. But I was like, all right, well. The, the one thing that disappointed me about the new trilogy, because initially when I first saw them all in theaters, because well, obviously me and, Before you get, sure. you can finish your point, but I'll check out this headline real quick. Mm-hmm. What we got? Can you well, that, that kind of sums up what Cheeto was just saying. For people listening, it says, J.J. Abrams admits the obvious. Disney didn't, didn't have a real plan when they made the new Star Wars trilogy. Well, I, I, so <coughs> real thanks quick. for reading that, RJ. Well, I didn't know if you wanted me to read it. Or yeah, not. of course, because uh, people are listening. Uh, okay, well they're listening, <laughs> and you heard Jared say it, not me. So, right. no, um, with the new trilogy, uh, the one thing, like, so we initially saw them in theaters, right? right. Like, and obviously right. we're pumped because you know we're big Star Wars guys. Uh, obviously you are as well. Nothing wrong with that. I feel yeah. Star Wars fans are the most hardcore group of people. Uh, the most critical, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's a better word to use. Uh, very critical, and it's and it's it, it's understandable because eh, not really. You don't think so? Like in some scenarios, even with the new trilogy. No, I mean, you shit. To be honest, motherfuckers, you're lucky to even have this this whole world go on as long as it has. So Th- this is true. Stop this- con- fucking complaining about mm. little shit that doesn't matter. Like I heard people complaining about Cad Bane. Like, dude, that was so badass. Like, they were like, he doesn't look as cool. He, I was like, he looks way better in li- in live action than he did in the fucking series. Dude, when he was walking up in his oh, world, dude, dude man. I was like, I was looking at it. Wait. I was like, that's not who I think it is. I was like, wait a minute, this guy. All okay. right, his whole walk yeah. is fire. Like dude. the, <laughs> it's badass. Yeah, yeah. the guy's a badass. You got you got people like coming out of coming out of the the bar. I think that's the bar they came out of. Yeah, and you see this figure in the background just slowly walking in this desert heat mm-hmm. like it's cool outside i'm like this guy just walking up slow as hell didn't give a fuck ain't worried about anything to attack him swallow his ass up because they killed it already so i'm like who is walking up like nothing can touch him then he shows up hat down then when he reveals his face, I'm like, oh, I've seen this guy before. Who was this? It was Cad Bane. And I was like, man, 
man, the super okay. badass in live like, action. Does does his yeah, face? Okay, the, so he in the animated series, it's a deeper blue. Okay, it's a deeper blue. Could they make his face a deeper blue? They could have, but they didn't. But hey, you're in the desert sun. Your face dries out. It gets light. All right. So I mean, you put some. Yeah, that's, that's good. You, hey, you good put some you. SPF on it. You, you're probably great. That motherfucker's <laughs> hat in live action is fire. Dude. No, it's it's great. It works. It works. <laughs> it works. It does work. Yeah, because I've only seen so much of like the animated series myself, but I know who Cad Bane is. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, and was, same same here. Yeah, I've, I've I've definitely seen some stuff with him, and I was like, all right, he's. He is that that villain, like really villainy type person. Even like the only the, the few episodes of Clone Wars that I saw. Yeah. Um. But like they did this shit, like, like dude. Yeah. And then yeah, you yeah he did the reveal and he looked up. I was like, bro, this is fucking. I was um. Yeah. I had smoked a bowl before I had watched oh, it. Shit. So when I was watching it, dude, I was like really tuned into it, mm. and I was just so like, were. I was just so like, well, yeah, I was. I was like, yo, this is sick. I was, I was just so happy. <laughs> he was. He also appeared in, uh, I don't know if any of you have seen it, um, but The Bad Batch, he also I appeared watched like I've only I, seen like two or three episodes. Of it's, same. It's a good, it's two, a, two or three episodes. I, I watched the whole thing. It, I, I got I I to finish, yeah. finish it. Yeah. I got to finish it. I mean, definitely now you got to finish it. But, yeah. But, I, I mean, that's fine with me, but it's, uh, yeah, so I thought he was super awesome for being like pretty much like the main antagonist for the most part. I know it's like the syndicate as a whole, but him just showing up and it's like, you know, he has ties with Bubba Fett, you know, yeah. he's like his mentor, right? Or, or, uh, they, or to, to a degree. He knew his father. They, yeah. were, they were all bounty hunters. Yeah, bounty. I know that. It's the bounty hunter. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the guild. Bounty yeah. hunter guild, pretty much. Shit, so the Mandalorian might even know him. Mm, you know what? It's very possible. It's possible. Very, very possible. Yeah. Very possible. I'm, I'm sure because if you're in the bounty hunter's guild, you're going to cross paths. With a lot of people, a lot of bounty hunters, because everybody's out for the Shit. pay, out for the pay, yeah, uh, out for that payday. Finnick Chang, um, right? She's a bounty hunter also, and she was like, "Oh, I know you." And yeah. he's like, "Well, I know you too." Yeah, well, you, <laughs> and and that's the thing. He's like, "Well, once once he met Finnick Chang, it was like, hey, you're gonna get a bigger payoff from him than you are from me in, th- in that episode." Yeah, and I was like, so she already knew that he. He uh he already dishonored or you know he went rogue, and from that rogue everybody was like hey everybody knew hey we got hey his head priceless let's get him and and I was like damn man they they coming after you they coming after you Dinjar they coming after you and he was like hey I got this Baskar on he got Baskar all around I'm still trying to figure out I'm like well you got all this Baskar that Baskar spear it's fantastic with you. He got fucked on that, and you he know got what? fucked real bad. I, on I that. think I think that was honestly I think that was a plot because yeah. that spear is was strong as hell for no yeah. reason because yeah, yeah. it's best guard because it's best guard. And yeah. I'm still I'm like oh, I'm still kind of torn. Like okay, that's what won him the fight against uh what's his name. So you are telling me no I one has fucking name no one has made a best guard shield, best guard long sword, best guard short sword. No one's done that, um, or even the best guard, you know, parent knife. Can, can we? Can we can do a parent knife with the best guard. I mean, no. if it, no, no, no. If 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 you're a true, if you live by the what do they call it, the creed. If you yeah. live by the creed, then no. It, it, apparently, uh, the, what the armor was saying, like we don't do fucking piercing shit. Now shields, I could see. I don't. Yeah. I, I'm sure somebody had a shield before. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, you you have that extra layer because she because she made the little chain link uh, shirt for what's his, the uh, the chain Grogu. mail the chain mail for Grogu, fantastic. I'm like, so you telling me? I'm like, no one else has thought about making this stuff there's, for themselves. There's more shit. It's got to be. There's, there's got to be more, more armor piece armor pieces or, uh, because I only see her. As the the you know the, the she's the, armor for that little crew. She's only the the one blacksmith. Yeah, and I'm like, where are the other ones? Because every blacksmith has its. I believe this will work, or I want to show my own ideas. It depends on right if they're if they believe in the creed. Now, if they're with like uh, I can't come off with Katie Sackoff's character name now. Uh, Bo uh, was it Bo Darren? Not Bo Darren. 
the fuck is her name? Katie Sackhoff's character, the three man, the uh, the other Mandalorians. Um, you mean Bo-Katan? Bo-Katan. Yeah, Bo-Katan. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I fucking lost that one. Uh, yeah. So we don't. We, how do we know they don't have a, a armor? They would have to. They would have to because. You can't just have one armor or making, you know. No, that's, that, that, they'd have to be wearing I, it, right? But I think that my point is, right. is, is that this is the one that he knows, mm. and she believes in the creed. She made everybody else believe in the creed that's in her little crew. There's other Mandalorians out there, obviously. That's real. And I, I feel like we're going to see more of them um, come in in this next one. I don't think they're all gone, but I'm still mad about it. And my other point that I was thinking about, was um, the person who had the best car spear was not a Mandalorian. Mm. So, but the best car is everywhere. So you don't have to be a Mandalorian oh. to ha- if you get best car credits or you get best car like he was doing in the beginning of right. the season one. If you come across it and you know how to melt the shit down, then you can make whatever the fuck you want. That's right. And that's why it's so valuable. That's why everybody really wants that shit. You can make whatever you want. Yeah. And we've seen the chain mail. We always see the helmet. We always see the armor pieces. We've seen the spear. The dark saber. The d- dark, dark saber. saber this, the, Dude, the dark saber. The hilt is. is but, the hilt. Um, but I, I I think I saw or read somewhere that the the crystal is infused with Beskar. That's oh, why it makes that color. That's why it's dark. Yeah. That's why it's dark. Ooh. Yeah. Dude, that thing is so it was like badass. It's like the Beskar, and I think I want to say... I could be wrong on this. I'm, I'm going to look it up here in a second. But it, I want to say it's um, dark, infused with dark force, or the dark side, and Beskar. But let me look that up to, just to make sure. Dude, that's – dude, Star Wars is fucking badass. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, we, we're, we're sound, we sound like some super nerds today. That, no, that's, I mean, that, no, it's there, fine. There is a lot of direction you can go with, like, just from, hey, why don't they do this? Why aren't you – and, you know, with – with uh, Dinjarin and the way he was, this is the way. But he also found other Mandalorians that said, this is my way, not your way, this is my way. And that's the thing. It's like, okay, so there's more ways than the way you know. Just think, Excuse me. Think about it. They were on a planet, and they got scattered everywhere. Everywhere. Excuse me. So there's different, just like on this planet, there's different cultures, there's different religions, there's That's different right. everything. If your planet just got destroyed and you had to go somewhere else in the galaxy, you're going to fucking hang out with whoever people you have. Right. So the armorer could have just been like, you know what? This is what I this is the way in how we're living. And if you find someone else, then here's the way, here's what you do. You got and now you're a foundling. Now we're going to teach the foundlings our way. Mm-hmm. To, so they can continue to spread it. Right. I think the armor is an original Mandalorian. Like, I I don't think we've ever seen what they actually look like. Like, mm. apparently they're, they're, they they don't look like humans. That's, uh, it's, that, uh, that's why I that's probably think real. I, I that's think. probably real. But I think because Dinjarin was a foundling. Yeah, 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 now, yeah. Now, yeah. Exactly. Now they, you know, they're so covered. You don't know what's going on under that yeah. armor, or and then that one else. dude is huge as fuck. Oh, he's she's oh. pretty big. Oh, he she she oh, yeah. She, oh, she 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 yeah. she ain't worried about nothing. She's hitting you with her 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 equipment. Yeah, her her <laughs> equipment. Her her, her, her oh, what that shit? What's that shit called? Oh, met um metal. Manipulate. I don't know. Me- metal uh, wielding. Uh, metal. No, it's a metal. Manip- tools. Her metal tools. Tool. Yeah, metal manipulating. Yeah, you there's, know. What I'm there's a to. word I'm look. There's a phrase I'm looking for. Yeah. And she's like, I ain't got nothing to cut you. I don't have anything else. But all this stuff that I hit you with, it's gonna hurt. You know what it is. With and them? I think I think that's best guard too. It has to be because cool. if you see when he hits her. With the best guard oh, yeah, spear, it, turns, it, turns, yeah. it starts to melt. It'll ting, it'll ting, and it'll light up, mm-hmm. but it's not going through. Yeah, and she knew that. She like boom, boom. She hit him with the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, and he's like, what, what, what? And he and he's like, man, this <laughs> this stuff hurts. And when she fought people, that, when, that's what they like. They like blunt force trauma. That's how they like oh, to be man. <laughs> Yeah, well, we like, can uh, clearly hey. see after watching so many. Uh, Man, I feel like I, I want to rewatch everything now. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, like I, I got, I got like this itch now because like, th- but you might want to get that check. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna just throw that out there, sir. That's what baby powder is for, sir. Baby powder helps itches. I guess I know it helps with rashes. I mean, you might want to throw some Listerine on them, damn it. So no, we're not putting gold, Listerine. <laughs> some, some gold seal. And some gold seal. Yeah. <laughs> gold seal, gold bond. There oh yeah, go. gold bond. That's what gold it was. bond. Yeah, All I was right. Thinking of the stuff that covers up weed. Uh, <laughs> 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 it smell like reefer in here. Golden seal. So uh, while Jared's looking that up, when I was a couple minutes ago when I was talking about us in the the recent trilogy. Right. You know, we went to. Uh, the theaters, you know, were pumped because it's Star Wars. Left like, hey, that was pretty cool. And then you're right. You sit down and you try to rewatch them again and yeah. go through it. And it's like, I don't think this is really all that great. Like, I like them, but you're right. There's something about them that's off. Yeah, it's missing It's missing a lot of continuity. It's missing some things. I go, I'm missing, I'm missing some in-between pieces that would probably be best right here. Because you skip so many decades, people are already grown, and all this other stuff. I'm like, mm, I'm missing a lot, and you, and then it's like, all right, so what are you trying to do? Are you trying to give me another couple three episodes where they were kids and why they turned out to be uh, the way they are? And I'm like, mm. I'm like, are we doing this again? We we're we're messing up the 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 the. Uh, uh, the way they cut it, well, uh, was it chronological the chronological Chron- order yeah. of the series? I'm like, why do y'all keep doing this? I said, I can follow along. Thank you, I appreciate it. But it looks like you jumped again. You jumped a whole lot of time that I needed, and I don't like it. They're filling in those gaps slowly. We'll, you know, we'll, I, we'll get to them. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of gaps you can fill. You can use braces and stuff. You can give me a crown and a couple of fillings. But I don't, I don't need it all in you know different times, man. I'm just trying to get it fixed all in all in one well, shot. A lot of action takes a while. Man. Well, mm. and then Cause the, you got, I think the biggest thing for me was what was it? Figured Emperor out how Snoke. To, uh, like, oh yeah, Snow. Hold your thought. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So here's uh, the you you want to read that? Can you? Yeah, read, can sure, you sure. It? The dark saber. Okay, this is the dark saber. Obviously, we were just talking about how, the dark. how it was created. Okay, so the dark saber was an ancient, unique black bladed lightsaber created by Terra Vizsla. Is it? Am I pronouncing that right? Sounds uh, right. You got uh, the, 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 sounds the, right. The the first Mandalorian ever inducted into the Jedi Order prior to 1032 BBY, after the coup renegade Sith Lord Maul killed. Vizsla in a duel and took the dark saber as his own, becoming the leader of the Darth, uh, the Death Watch. Death Watch, which is a whole different story that we haven't even. The live action it hasn't even gotten it. That came from Clone Wars and all that shit. Oh, but that's sweet, though. dude. There's so much lore out there. It's fucking awesome. I yeah. love it. But that's you gotta lot. watch. It. You gotta that's go back. And, well, that that came from the Clone Wars. Okay. Yes. All right. So I'm. But there there was a Mandalorian that did that was a Mandalorian and a Jedi or. That could wield a saber and still be and wear the best scar, right? Yes. And the thing to me was, I'm like, so everybody says it has to be, you know, a couple of ways to be. You either Jedi or you're a Sith. Yeah. But I think I can be. I can be in between. I well, can be in between person. That's what um, I, I was watching one of the new rock stars episodes, and they were saying the same thing. It was like we're this now we're starting to learn that there can be. It doesn't have to be just Sith and Jedi. Right. It doesn't have to be just Mandalorian and whatever the fuck or, or the Bounty Hunter Guild. It, right. You can be where the fuck you want. But and then that's the thing, you know, it was the strong beliefs of you have to be in our group or you have to be in this group. Yeah. And it's like, well, do I have to be quite the way you are? Because that doesn't work for yeah. me in my life. I love my family. I want to be around them. Mm-hmm. I want to, hey, I want to see life unfold the way it usually does. Like we're and, like we're seeing with Grogu right now. Like Grogu. Yeah. And, you know, even with uh, when Anakin was like, he like, hey, I, I still love my family. I still want to see things happen. Can you keep my family safe? You know, the, the whole, the whole, uh, the, you know, their, who was that? Uh, was it like uh, the whole board or everybody on that 
that master board of uh, Jedi's were like, well, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. We can't do this for you. You're like, why am I even joining this group? Yeah. And you, all you give me is no, can't, and no. Yeah. And I'm like, how is this going to make me a better person? Well, first of all, that first, the, uh, that's one thing. Like growing up, when I was, because I'm old, I've, I've, I didn't see the very first one in theaters, but I saw the second one. Uh, Return of the Jedi's I saw it in theater. So I actually saw that in theaters as well. How the fuck did you see it in theaters? When they re-released it. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> what we do. Sing, bing, Sing. bang, I don't, bing, bong. Oh, when they re-released it, when they had, when they changed a whole bunch of shit and then it was fucking whack? Yeah, okay. I was a kid. I thought it was badass. I know you were, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, I, I think me and him got... Got the same age bracket in yeah, these yeah, damons. Yeah. So, um, speaking <laughs> of ancient. <laughs> no, no. When well, I, I, I ain't turning the dust around. <laughs> I'm like, just letting you know. I fucking forgot what I was going to say now. Damn it. <laughs> you were just in the middle of insulting me. No, I was already past that. Oh, well. It was. Here, you guys want to take a shot real quick? Ba back to. I took my, yeah, oh, you already took your shot. Yeah, uh, she does. You wanna, you wanna, uh, back to where you were. I, you I, were on. Um, you've seen it in theaters. And what yep. you. What you seen as a kid? Cheers, oh, sir. okay, yeah. Growing up as a kid, um, being uh, um, like, you, it was propped up like the Jedi is the only way. Like, you can't fucking do anything. But I was growing up, I'm like, oh my god, I want to be a Jedi. Didn't want to be a Sith. You know what I'm saying? Like, did like, you the Sith are evil, and they, they made it look like right. everything is evil, right? Yeah, because with the Sith, right. Your whole skin color changed, your eye color changed, your attitude, your teeth even get sharper. For, you, didn't even, you, don't even, you don't even foul them shit. I don't know if that is everybody. Though. I'm like, maybe maybe just your teeth just fall out because you don't, you don't eat as much. You're like, oh, oh that's another Too one. Too much hey, power. No, just like, you know, like meth heads, they just lose their teeth because they smoke their shit out. Maybe, maybe yeah. that's how the sip do it. Hey, we just sit around and we don't eat as much, so teeth just fall out. I don't, I didn't need those. Yeah, but I don't think that. There's got to be a way. No, because there has to be a it has to be a middle ground. If somewhere. he didn't get his legs and his arms cut off, uh, Anakin would have been fine. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have looked like it. right burnt the fuck up and amputated do, everything. Do you think his eye color eye color would have changed? I think that is. Just part of is that is that be, that's the side basic, of the force basic basic dark side level of eye color change yeah okay even with that okay so even and, with even with uh, physical changes mm -hmm. you still have your mind and your heart you you feel me okay you still have your mind and your heart I see what you're saying but I would counter that with shit thinking about. Okay, so if you're a priest, I'm gonna stick with priests, priests, because it comes, it goes with what I'm saying. If you become a priest, you are subject to a code being locked down, and you can in a code, and only you can only do certain things. Humans are not designed to do that. You know what I'm saying? We have to be. I don't want to say free. I want like, yeah, to be able to express ourselves and not be restricted right. in every aspect. Mm. The Jedi Order restricts people. It's the same way. It's, it's a re like, it's a restriction. It, yeah. It's a restriction. So you're going. There's going to be people who are going to lash out or going to mm. do things that they're not supposed to because th they're hindered. They they're not able to do what they feel they need to do. Mm. So. I think that's what, and I, the reason I, I chose priests, I, for obvious reasons, these people are suppressed. Mm -hmm. So then what happens is they end up doing things to people who is in their area they can take advantage of. And I'm not going to say exactly what it is. We all know what happens with priests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but well, that's I, I, that, I'm, equating, I'm equating that to the Jedi Order in a way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have the Sith. Mm -hmm. Now, they are too fucking free to do whatever the fuck they want. So then they just like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to fucking take as much power as I can. Uh, I don't know. Politicians? Mm -hmm. Corporations? 
Um, I'm gonna take as much power as I can, and I don't care who it fucking hurts. Okay. Yep. So that, th- th- for me, those are two parallels that 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 Star Wars has mimicked throughout the years, I, and I love the Sith. Don't get me wrong, the Sith are badass, dude. I would rather be like a Mace Windu and be in the middle. But you don't see the party Sith. The well, party Sith. Are there party Sith? It, there's I'm, only two I'm, of them. No, I'm, just, no, I'm, I'm saying that you don't see that Sith that's like, man, I ain't got to do nothing. Hey, I ain't got to wake up and do a job. You know, I'm just drink all day. Do, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, you know. Oh, goddamn, Mark. You know, I'm in here in, in, in these areas where, you know, everything free flows just the way I like it. And you don't see that guy. You don't see that guy. He's like, hey, I'm just trying to make sure you don't live through the day. Kind of Sith, you know yeah. that 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 guy. But you don't see the, you don't see a, a medium where it's like, there's there's medium. That's the that's the gray. Like it's some it's some gray there, yeah. and the gray is like all right. No, I'm saying there's a gray. Like Mace Windu was considered a gray Jedi. I guess that's what, but because he 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 went into his emotions. Well, yeah, and he's used part of the dark side. Dark side too. Just yeah, and 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 that's the thing. It's like okay, because but. The thing is, Maze couldn't be the only person that dove into it and not become a, a complete Sith. And guess what? He was also on the Jedi Council. And he was. Yeah, this also, is, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Okay, back. So, yes, the Council. The Council was so, like, you can't, you can't. You can't do whatever you're, the fuck you, you want. You, you are not worthy of the Council. You ain't, you ain't this. I'm like, man, you beating this boy down. So hard, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is that? Like, if you're if you're on the Jedi Council, yeah, and you see somebody that's not worthy, it's like, how can I make you worthy? How can I make you understand these? Like, instead of hitting you with the elbow drop so hard, how can I make you understand what we're doing and where we're going? If you can't give me any history or any teaching, don't teach me at all. Let me go. Yeah, there, there was just a lot of sayings like, uh, fear will lead to hate and hate will lead to fear. Like, nigga, don't tell me no bullshit. I don't, I don't need fucking, I don't need a little green philosophy. Man. Yeah, I don't need philosophy. I need, I need facts. <laughs> you need facts. Because as a, as a kid, you're like, okay, you can influence me. I've already lived a hard life on my planet, making sure my, me and mom eat. I mean, Yep. Daily, I'm I'm making money, so we eat. I'm the I'm the one making the money mm-hmm. as a kid. Mom, hey, and hey, love you, mom. Hey, this is what we got for the day. We can eat again, blah blah blah. And now you taking me off planet, telling me I'm wrong. I'm like, whoa! I've been surviving, baby. I've been f- surviving for this whole time. Now yeah. you tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, wait a minute, hold on. Dude, that, that's true. It, I, you know, I just while you were saying that, I just came up with um, uh, I, don't, I, I guess it would be a parallel. So, Anakin as a kid, even mm-hmm. though he went through everything he went through, right, right. Um, he ended up choosing to go to the to the Jedi to become a Jedi. He did well. Now, uh, I mean, he didn't choose it. No, he did. They, he didn't have to leave. He, you're right. You're right. I, I see where you're going with this. Okay. Um, so he chose to go to be a Jedi mm-hmm. and learn mm-hmm. to be a Jedi under. Obi- well, Obi Wan wasn't. They weren't going to train him at first because yeah. they they were like, uh, he's got fear or whatever the fuck they, yeah. they they their excuse was. He's tainted, and he was too old. Well, not tainted. That's what it was. It was he, he was, was too, too old. He was too old too. Um, but then the force was strong with him. The force was strong with him. But then now you have Grogu, and Luke gave him the oh um Osoka Osoka was saying uh he. Uh, too old for the mo- oh, oh you're de- well, definitely too old. Yeah, what? well, I mean, and he, for, they for lived his, for nine hundred years for his species. For his species, Woo. yeah, he was too old, and he had the trauma already that was going through him. So right. they were like, "Well, I don't." Well, she said, "I'm not going to train him," because she had already seen it through Anakin. Yeah, and then so she was like, "I'm not going to train him." Then, um, so then Luke gave him the choice. He was like, you can either go back to your Mandalorian friend, or you can and and suppress all the or or yeah you, and whatever, or you can be a Jedi and you might not ever see him again. Uh, 
because right. you got to repress all your love for everybody, which is it's dumb. It, you know what, and and that's what what gets me with. But that piece, be, but he I, chose I you, he chose me, the other way. So I'm interested to see what the other that that was what I was trying to get to. I, I took okay, a long okay, route okay. to it. All right, cool. Um, but so but he chose to go back to the Mandalorian and mm-hmm. not choose the Jedi. Right. I, okay. So what the Jedi tells you to hold off, close everything up, because it leads to the dark side. Right. Um, we we've, we've been you know. Uh, the way evil, right? Evil gets uh, uh, pushed into the dark, or the way light hits is, you know, uh, the what? words like "love conquers all." Love mm-hmm. is is timeless. It it doesn't have a set place. And then you tell me, shut it off, shut that love off, and follow our way. And I'm like, well. Yeah, is it isn't love supposed to bring the light, cl- like shut yeah. out the evil? And you tell me definitely love the opposite. And you telling me love. It is a little weird. You yeah. you, you yeah, tell it's, me it's, you tell me love is my cripple. Yeah, that that cripples me. That is my kryptonite. I'm like you, and I'm looking. I'm like mm, I, so many so many uh, variations, so many movies that said uh, how love is timeless. That that. Love goes past time and and bonds and all that. I can I can wake up two thousand years later. I can still love that one person. My heart still goes and for that person, even though they've went through some kind of change. And I'm like, I still find them somehow. Mm-hmm. But you're telling me as a Jedi, you cut that shit off. That, that's not real well, for us. But that's what I'm saying. That, that's the the pre. That, well, it goes back to the priests and the the Catholic Church type thing. Uh, and I'm, I'm not attacking the Catholic Church. Um, but okay, Why are you attacking so, the Catholic so, Church. So, Jared? Oh my God! So <laughs> religion. But, 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 well, I'm attacking you. You just okay. fall asleep over there. Right. Right. I was not. I was. So, I was. <laughs> I was not falling asleep. Hold on. Let's hold on. Let's clarify that real quick. What? what I was. What? Part- I was like meditating as if I was Luke Skywalker. Right? Oh, is that what you were? That's doing? exactly that's what, what I was do. doing. That's what we do. That's what I was doing. I look over it. Yeah. Through his glasses, all I saw was this. We 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 look around these damn. <laughs> hey, I was thinking about this edible anus. Oh, um, all right. uh, now your uncle Luke. Subject. Now your uncle Luke around here. Oh, I know, I'm like I'm just you know regular Luke, but you uncle Luke right now. <laughs> so, let me see you. Oh, like, so so did you guys? Since we're yeah, let's so passionate. I I know. Well, we can. Move on to other things or yeah, whatever it is. This is going to be the Star Wars episode, dude. It's, de- it's definitely the most Star Warsy episode yeah. we've ever had. Okay, I mean, now, we keep going, man. Uh, no, no, we for sure. So, um, when you were growing up, I'm okay. I'm, assur- I'm assuming, and I know both of you did. You guys had lightsabers, right? No, you no. didn't have a lightsaber. I didn't have a lightsaber. Dude, we didn't have light. Doc, I'm. Oh, that, that, old, no, no. Um, I'm getting you a lightsaber. No, dude, no, I want a real one though. I don't want that. Dude, bullshit. here, Google it. See if we can see what the price of them are. Um, it, it depends. It depends. I'm going on, to Disney World and get my shit. It depends on the <laughs> manufacturer. Really it probably depends on the manufacturer. Honestly, no. But we need like it a really. I've seen some six hundred, eight hundred. I've seen really, for yeah. real, like and for hey, like a good replica. Them shits, yeah. like with the hilt. And, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's you a, might find way. you might find the one that can actually cut a person in half. But I'm not, I'm not. I don't know I'm about th- that. But I mean, the, the, no. No, I take that. But there are, there, I can find videos of people that, that have built plasma. They're like plasma. The plasma saber, right? Cut, but hey, it's still a lightsaber. Oh, hey. dude, look at those. Hey. That so, looks fucking sick. Hold yeah, on. Like the eight, what? $80 one is sick? No, you're tripping. No, well, I didn't see the price on it, but it still looks good. I can, I've I've found I've seen some that I want. I'm like I'm not paying six hundred dollars for. Nah, oh, that is no, a bit outrageous. No, no, sorry, sorry, I mean I I mean we're diehard fans, but that's like super. You got to have to have like extra money laying around. Here, let's see. Look at that. That one's a hundred. I gotta switch the screen so. People yeah, here. See. Let's say. Let me lift my glasses up a little bit. Well, the only reason. So, you, did you have like toys? Did you have like a X wing or an ATAT or a chicken walker or a Tie fighter? A chicken walker. Yeah, uh, I, I, I used to call them chicken walkers. What when you I was call a kid. me, motherfucker? Oh, you call I'm me a chicken walker? You know, that that does sound like a racist term, it does. doesn't it? <laughs> hey, look walker. over there, a chicken, chicken, chicken walker. walker. Dude, and, oh, and fuck. damn, that's probably why I haven't come on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about walking chicken. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, I would totally <laughs> tell you to make that the name of the episode, <laughs> but we'll, 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 we'll get canceled. No, no, we won't. No, we won't. All right. Not for that. Off of chickens. Off of chickens. We got to be. You already said fucking the lightsaber or the little sombrero shit. They're little sombreros. Here, I'm putting it on my head again. It's what it is plus the size. <laughs> and that put the makes it. It is descriptive. That's what we're doing. Descriptive. I am describing the right. little sombrero. Take it off. All right, fine. That's what we're doing. No fun. That, that's why we're hanging them because I'm, why? Because I'm, I'm not going to sit next to you every week with you <laughs> well, fucking on a sombrero. wearing a sombrero. Well, if you would have brought me a real sombrero, Jared. Motherfucker. Well, okay, well, here we go. Well. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, this motherfucker wanted me to bring multiple large sombreros on my hey. fucking plane ride back. Wait a minute, you want to get mariachi in this in this place? I mean. Ba-da-bum-ba. All right. That yeah. is not even. I know, I know. It's a, Relax, relax. It's not even a Mexican. Mariachi is Mexican. Mariachi. La Bamba is like, wasn't that Cuban or something? I think so. I'm almost positive you're right. Because Ricky Ricardo used to do it. Mm, we're gonna have to, we have to, we have to check into that reference. I'm not gonna push the. Push I don't the think La Bamba. Okay, I don't think La Bamba comes from Mexico. No, I, no, I, I, no. I think Jared's right. I, I think he's, I think he's correct. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to look that. But up. I am a white person. I know nothing. Um, so you, you know, did just you have, because you're white you know doesn't what? mean you, you know what? educate yourself. And, don't, and don't, you know what? That. That's you know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> so did you have like like action figures or anything like that? Um, I was Darth Vader for no. uh, Halloween one year, dude. I had GI Joes, real. I had GI Joes. GI Joes. Joes were pretty. You know, GI Joes were something I wasn't overly into as a kid. That's because you're not our age. Sir. I know. I understand that, but no, I knew some people that were what? that were my age. What? But for me, like it just wasn't. All right, I think. I so know. I was GI Joes, He Man. I was He Man for a while. But when the Ninja Turtles came oh, out, yeah, Ninja oh, Turtles I was a whole different world. I dude. was a whole new. I'm like, damn it! I'm like, 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 you know, it was it's Ninja Turtles. Did you have I, the Technodrome? No, I have it. I built it. You I built bu- one. I built it out of Legos, dude. That's sick, dude. That 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 in the turtle van out of Legos. So my sisters had Barbies. I had turtles, right? Um, somehow the Barbies got. Their heads shaved off, and you like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they look like you know beat down in the alley, <laughs> like make a ball smeared on their face. I'm like, what are y'all doing? These barbies, man! Y'all are killing oh, these barbies. Dude, pull, pull up the turtles, oh dude! So I built, Vintage. I built that out of Legos. I built that out of Legos. Had a, a door that that dropped down and everything like that. Had the win- I mean, I built it. I built it out of Legos, and I tell you, you know, I always. Uh, so I had to build. I had to build Barbie, Barbie a car and stuff for, it was like the turtle set in the passenger seat and the Barbie set in the driver's seat. I'm like, I don't know. Y'all legs are really long. I'm like, I'm going to build more of this shit. But it was, but the, the turtle van, the inspiration was there hands down. So I always, I could, I could picture in my head. I knew where the wheels were going to be and all this other stuff. I made it. Dude, look at that. And it worked. Party wagon, and 1987. Look at that vintage shit. We were shit. looking at uh, the Power Ranger flip heads last week. What? You know what the, the flip heads were? I remember. Yeah. I remember. All right. High five, Cheetah. Wait, wait. Hold on. I sneezed my hand earlier. Oh, hold you on. sneezy yeah, bastard. Yeah, yeah. See? Are you bringing see, up the half try- Transformers again? Now you're trying to get me They're sick. They're not half Transformers. Okay. Somebody commented on the YouTube channel about that, by the wait way. Wait a minute. You mean, wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. Half Transformers? No. Well, he, well, Jared didn't know what a flip head was. Uh, so they also had that in the He-Man phase too. See, I didn't. I don't think I had any He-Man. No, phase. no, they had a flip. They had a so they chest flip instead of their heads. I just had the right. I just had or he, the battle damage. I had He-Man. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, but the Transformers had that shit too. The flip the head. Did you the try to find the, uh, no, the, the crash card? Remember the crash card? Like you crash into them and it flips the yes into the damage. I had those. Um, but the He-Man joint I had was when he was changed into He-Man. He wasn't Prince Adam. Right. And the fucking tiger was uh, whatever the ba- – oh, Battle ba- Cat. Battle Cat. Yeah, battle Cat. Went, yeah. But when he was in Battle Cat and I and I had Cringer. The, the saddle and all that shit. Fucking uh, – yeah, I had a He-Man. Shit. I had Skeletor. I had all that shit. Hey, had the had the dual sword. You put them together. Mm. And Power Grace go around them. Damn it. I Are you a Voltron guy at all? The Power. 
I, I know about the blazing sword. Yeah, you know, yeah. blaze them damage. Hey, Voltron hey, was a little bit Vol- before Vol- he Voltron was, yeah. is my. Hey, the five dude, Vol- lions. Yeah, dude, Voltron's, Voltron's my shit, shit, dude. I enjoys me some. Now the only thing is, okay, so when I look up, trying to find the five lions. So they're uh, the current five lions. The way they look, it's kind of they rounded stuff off. So I don't like that. So I went back to look for the old Voltron. And I looked out. Let me get, let me get the, the originals. Put them together. I'm like, how much? I was like, oh, sir, no, I don't, I don't know if the originals. I'm, I'm gonna have to get a lion eat like a month at a time because this ain't working. Because so, the price is just so like when too I was crazy. so when I was a kid, um, finding the original like a Voltron toy like a set where the lines were separate was almost impossible. Like. Give it, yeah, no, I'm, I'm dead serious. I, I, I looked for it for, I feel like, years. And then I went to go visit my grandmother up in Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Had the KB toys in her mall and everything. KB? Every, yeah, yeah, taking Man. it back. Dude, hey, yeah. They, a lot of the toy stores of our time. They're all gone. They're gone. Yeah. I, I, so I, I am a Toys R Us kid. Even, yeah, even yeah, Toys R Us. Yeah, I am a Toys R Us kid. I've seen I I that song like you know, a couple days ago. In real life, you know what? I ain't playing with you. You know what took over is fucking department stores like Walmart, because uh, you can get everything you can get in a regular toy store sure. In, sure. in Walmart or but online. The, but it doesn't have that feel. But though, the toy, man. the yeah. toy, I hate that. The toy to a, to a kid, it does. The yeah, yeah. Toy companies are still pumping out the toys. Oh yeah, but they're you, still pumping you can out order the toys. Them online. You can order them online, but they won't. But there is no hub. No, actual, this is a toy store. This is a toy section, but not a toy store. Uh, maybe in New York they still have some. It's possible. It's nah, possible. but the, the feel of a toy store, man, is like, I know we're adults. I, I get it. But, like, as a kid, it's just like, it's like a wonderland, dude. It's it's just like a, it's just like a wonderland. So, honestly, doing all this, can you look up one more thing real quick? Um, if you don't mind, Jared, uh, what, 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 what I was going to say, can you look up, uh, the, like the original Voltron toy, please? If we you did don't that mind. last week, no, no, we looked at the transformers and, uh, Power we Rangers. did Voltron also. Did we do Voltron? No, 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 no we, we didn't Voltron. do Voltron. We did, last we did Voltron. I, I, no. I'm telling you, we did you, Voltron. You like Voltron, huh? Oh, dude, I fucking love Voltron, dude. I mean, you you got the the set. Yeah, I Man, thought we looked this. That dude, yeah. that dude right there. He looked just like the fucking goddamn. Damn, I, dude, I'm, look I'm at sure that. Just like the fucking power, or the fucking Power that, Ranger shit. Yeah, oh, the Megazord. Yeah, that joint like three feet. Damn, dude, that shit is seven hundred fucking bucks, dude. Yes, it's the original. Oh, Hence oh why I said one line at a time, dude. One line at a. Dude, dude, that thing is so badass, though. If and, I'm and, ever and rich, it, it, won't, it won't even be released till February to the end of the month. Because yeah. that's made of metal, not oh. plastic. It's all metal. All I, the toys back be... then were made of metal, oh. aluminum metal. It, it was man, metal. that thing is inc- so. All this toy talk the last two weeks, I'm gonna have to start collecting shit again. I, I just absolutely oh have God. to. He's gonna waste his money, ladies my, and gentlemen. I'm not wasting my money. It's a collector's item. But with that being said. I am a collector's item. Jared is a collector's item. Cheeto is a collector's item. A vintage one, in fact. <laughs> All right. So, what, ladies and gentlemen. What just happened to me? What? Nothing. <laughs> I just called you vintage, which is another word for old, <laughs> sir. Like, what just happened to me? <laughs> oh, you bad. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for listening to episode 123. 123 episodes of this here Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy. Along with Jared, the visual mad scientist, and Cheeto, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We do appreciate it. I know you'll be back, man, so we can talk some more S and, uh, you know, more nerd lore. What? 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 Some more S. Well, some more shit. Like, you know. Oh, all right. Come on. When the fuck did you become PC, motherfucker? I'm not politically I'm not politically correct. Oh, Apparently I'm racist because of little sombreros. I'm putting it on. You're some you're yeah. some uh, you're some uh, everything. Right. I'm just going to say that out loud. Nah, yeah. wait, 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 just, put the sombrero it, down. You're no fun. So, what is fun, ah. folks, is when we see you guys next week and the next <laughs> suspecting victim is going to take RJ's edible anus challenge. So, as um, always, beep, 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 beep. Oh, hold on. We got that. Shit. Yeah. Wait a minute, we're hitting the button. Yeah. Well, he's hitting the button. As always, I can't, oh, like, share, comp. There it is. There. Ah, yeah. you bastard. Ah, there yeah. it is. 
There it is. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, be safe, and we will see you guys next week. And I, I guess that's it, yeah? Yes. Yeah, all right. Hell yeah. Star Wars episode. Bum, we out. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio skulls all day. The merit science is the merit science is the